Welcome back to our channel. So today I've recorded this festival glam look using the new Terry McAvoy palette. So I'm just starting off with all covered concealer in shade 13 and I'm just using my 22T brush and my 27PO brush to pack it on. And then moving on to rainbow shadow in shade 103 and then shade 292 from the Terry palette on a 10S brush, just working that into the crease. I'm then taking shadow 108 from the Rainbow Collection on a 48SS brush, which is a little smaller brush. And I'm just working that into the crease, blending my two original colors together, and then going back in with the yellow shade, which is 103, just to merge everything together. Then I'm grabbing a little bit of jawline on my flat concealer brush, which is the 22T, and I'm just carving out my crease, taking my time, just to get a nice sharp line. And then taking all covered concealer in shade 13, again on the exact same brush, and I'm just going over where I've carved out my jawline just to create a really sharp crease. I'm then starting off with shadow 167 from the Terry palette, which is a lighter shade, and I'm just packing that onto the inner corner of the lid we're using my 13P brush. And then got to grab a few shadows from the Inglot 10 collection. So this is shade Hustle and Bustle. This is a light shimmery pink with a nice glitter iridescent finish. And then I am moving on to shade Dance Floor, which is a nice hot pink. Then I'm grabbing pigment 125, which is a gorgeous cranberry colour. This again is going to give a nice pearlescent finish. And then lastly, I'm grabbing blush in shade 69 on a 49SS brush and just working that into the outer corner. Now I'm taking a little bit of eyeshadow keeper on my flat concealer brush, which is the 22T, and then I'm taking Body Sparkle Crystals in shade 103. These are probably one of my favourite products, and I'm just pressing these on using a 27PO brush. Move on to the liner. I'm taking our 77 gel liner on a lip brush, which is the 12S brush. This is an amazing brush for liner if anyone does struggle with liner. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of jawline on my concealer brush and just sharpen up that wing by dragging the wing out towards the ear. So for today's look, I want to do a neon floating liner, so I decided to use the Freedom Lips. So this is shade 514, which is a matte lipstick, and then I'm using shade 502, which is a gorgeous peach colour, on my 42T brush. I'm then moving on to do a yellow and a lime towards the outer corner, just to create an illusion of an ombre liner. Now to move on to do my underneath smokes, so I'm just taking rainbow shadow in shade 148 and this is on my 49SS brush and then I'm moving on to the terry shadow which is 292 on a 48SS brush and I'm just working this in, again buffing it out with a gorgeous orange and then taking body pigment powder in shade 322 which is a gorgeous neon orange with a soft glitter and I'm just using my 10S brush because I have a little bit more control using this brush and just working it right in underneath the eyes. Now to complete today's look, I've just gone in with All Covered Foundation in shade 17 using my 38SS brush. This is a great brush for foundation and what I'm doing here is I'm just working it into the skin and then going back out with my concealer brush just pressing on whatever residue is left in my brush right up underneath the eyes and carving out the brows. Then I'm going in with HD Press Powder in 403 which is a light reflecting powder and that's just going to set underneath my eyes and then I'm taking shadow 167 from the palette and I'm just highlighting her cheekbones, the tip of the nose and the cupid's bow. Now to line the lips today I've taken 63 Soft Precision Lip Liner which is a gorgeous nude colour and this is just going to give a little bit of definition and shape to the lips 
And then I'm taking the Terry McAvoy lipstick in shade 322, which is the most beautiful peachy nude. And I'm just pressing this onto the lips to create that gorgeous plump effect. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and all products I've used in today's video are available online on inglot.e or inglot.co.uk.